What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Halloween ends in this video here today, now that the movie is out, we can just like dive in and dissect so much about this movie now. I honestly think there's more to talk about with this movie compared to Jeepers Creepers Reborn, which somehow was just so bad that, I mean, you could talk about how bad it was, but you know, I, I just don't want to go down that rabbit hole, honestly, because I know I'm going to do other videos on that topic. I just don't want to go down that rabbit hole wholeheartedly just just yet <laughs> but i do want to dive into again halloween ends that's what we're here for today talk about why michael myers might be mistreated to a lot of people myself included in this movie and how they don't really do a great service to the character and going back to my spoiler free review there was a bit in there i said when you guys watch this a lot of people when watching this i wouldn't be surprised if while they see certain things in the movie related to michael myers they would then come to the conclusion the people who made this movie they must really hate michael myers and if that's the case why did they make this movie why are they making any halloween movies now of course i do not think that they legitimately hate michael myers but given how they depict him in this movie if somebody came up to me and said that they believe that after watching in this movie that everyone involved with the creative process hated michael myers then i would believe i would believe where they're coming from or at least understand it i just don't think that that's what they i don't think that's what the mentality was but the way he's depicted in this movie is quite terrible <laughs> i would say or just just poor just all altogether poor there are bits in the movie where i guess you can say that the dialogue from Lori in kills is kind of manifesting itself the more he kills the more he transcends which is why you see him very weak and decrepit and kind of just hiding away from society <laughs> and you know my whole thing is we can we can have aspects of that be figurative but weren't i think there were moments in the movie where he was he did a kill to the cop he started like like gyrating as if the kill was giving him some type of power which it, it seemed to be doing it was manifesting something within him it seemed like that's what i recall seeing i recall seeing him gyrate in some fashion <laughs> after killing the cop the problem there is you know you've already had this topic of going back to the basics and playing with that is he or isn't he you know there's a supernatural edge to him the thing about that edge was that we never had something answered in the sense that we know something's off about this man, but he's still a mortal man. There's something that is just not right that gives him that supernatural edge. Ends, I would say, incorrectly decides to depict that when we see him kill a cop. And then again, he's like gyrating as if the kill gives him some sort of new lease on life. And I think that's a that's not something you should be depicting if you want to again play up the original aspect of what the character was for is he or isn't he because at that point i think you're all but confirming there's something not right about this individual they are indeed completely supernatural and however they kind of eradicate that again by how the movie ends because he gets his throat slit and we know he's thrown in the in the uh wood chipper so like seeing him depicted as this weak fragile individual at the towards like this middle of the movie when Corey first enters the sewers that was unnecessary to me because there's a certain vibe of the character you should always preserve he should always be somebody who's intimidating somebody who's always able to strike fear in you a lot of viewers when you present the villain like this and then again at the very end which is fine at that point because he's about to die but prior to that he's just portrayed so inadequately and so out of shape in terms of just he doesn't have the same get up and go and he's clearly a, a very old individual who is not the same michael myers that you know and love and then on top of that we see him have a tussle with Corey over his mask and i'm like bro we don't need to see you tussling over this mask that was the thing that i was saying is equivalent in, to me in comparison to seeing him in halloween 5 on his knees behind a jail cell like oh they, i guess they got me and then you know just like kind of like fiddling with his hand his hands in some capacity still with his mask on completely ridiculous sequence so seeing him tussling over the mask and seeing him be this this weak individual thus only then to team up with Corey, who for whatever reason he decides to let live because he saw something within Corey, something that everyone else saw they saw that evil within Corey, except michael liked that evil and decided you say you know what hey 
you you can be my karate kid i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna train you um and, and I, I see what they're talking about that that movie the bodyguard or my bodyguard this is definitely something that that this was like the the whole idea of him teaming up with Corey, it wasn't that it could not have been executed in some correct way they executed it poorly Corey seemed to just have no fear of the shape and thus since he's the focus since our focus is also going to be intertwined with Corey, because we're going to find him to be interesting which he was he was a very compelling character it just he was introduced at the wrong portion of this saga i would say when he's showing no fear towards the person who had been the menacing villain in the past two movies that then to your audience would then lead to hey we're in this character's shoes for a majority of the movie they're not scared of michael myers i'm not scared of michael myers and then having michael myers get basically manhandled i would say not i guess that's an over exaggeration but yes i will say manhandled by Corey over his mask that was just kind of laughable to see michael myers was just portrayed way too weakly in this movie of course over time he starts to seem to be the same michael myers you saw in the first two movies but i just think it's unnecessary to dis to demonstrate or display the character in certain circumstances if you want to preserve the mystique of the character so i don't need to see him struggling in the sewers i don't need to get an answer and see that when he kills he actually is transcending or gyrating as he was doing i don't need to see all of that and then on top of that have the movie end with him in a very vulnerable position which is making it also kind of anticlimactic anyway because i have already seen him in a vulnerable pos vulnerable position prior to this with a boy who we just met and you know it just was not it, it wasn't all that all that well executed in terms of how they portrayed michael michael should be portrayed as a threat and he was not portrayed as a threat here and when i say not he was not portrayed as that i realized he did have a few kills he just wasn't again entirely somebody that i would say you should be intimidated by when your main focus Corey cunningham doesn't seem to be too intimidated by him at all whatsoever to the point where he feels he has the gall to just walk straight into the sewer take the man's mask off him like he no no flinching no nothing he he did not take michael seriously so why would i take him seriously he's just a complete disservice to the character probably the, one of the worst portrayals of him in the saga one of not the so let me know what y'all think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you should mention me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you want me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.